Hey what's up everyone this is Dan Page is here and today I'm gonna show you how to fix stupid errors that keep popping up like this shitty error right here for Sims 4. I know Sims 4 has been one of the great games out there and it has so much errors too so you guys wanna play and I wanna play too but I keep on getting these stupid little errors and it makes me piss you know. So what I'm gonna show you here today right now is how to fix this error the missing DLL for msvcp120.dll so what you want to do is go to the microsoft website i'm gonna leave a link this link in the description so you guys could just click it quick and go let me show you a screenshot of this i'm um, sorry guys can see this but it says the program cannot start because msv whatever 120.dll is missing from your computer try reinstalling the program to fix this problem I know this is annoying but you, you're gonna wanna follow each of my steps and we're gonna get through this first of all what you wanna do is you're gonna go to the link I just this link I'll have it in the description so it's gonna bring you to the Microsoft's website and this is a great website you can download almost like drivers and you know all that so it's gonna bring you here and you're gonna see visual c plus plus redistributable packages for visual studio 2013 once you're here you can check out details all of this so system requirements it works for windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 2003 windows 2008 windows vista windows xp it works for all of them this is the requirement for like resolution direct x ram had hard disk and um, all that processor and you can check out installation file which i'm going to show you how to do or well, please select your language i choose english download and uh, i don't we don't need the um, first one so uncheck the first of uh, and check these two the 64 um x64 and x86 check those two click next as you can see it's down here the next one is gonna come to you see so and um I know you guys have been having troubles with your sims 4 starting but I also um put um some comment in there saying if you need any help just contact me and we can fix the problem team viewer is um a great place that I can help you fix your game but once it's done here you want to like go open the folder but and drag it to your i suggest you drag it to your desktop to make it easier like i did here i dragged it to my desktop and what you want to do is double click on 64 x64 the first one are you gonna see the screen just agree install see it's processing and it's installing some crappy little files i can't even read as you can see it says setup successful which means it's installed now we can go ahead and hit close now we're done with the older one so we're gonna pull it aside double click on the x86 and this is gonna pop up you're gonna hit agree as usual for every single software you download you hit agree and you're gonna hit, hit install it's initializing and it says us set up success successful close it and that's it guys that's that's how you, you just fix this stupid little error right here all right so this is just a quick video on how to fix it for sims 4 and also i want to talk about um this one our uh, program um i can help you fix your sims problem just comment and tell me and i usually use um team viewer or i'll just choose another software to help you install your sims 4 program sims 4 um program so just link comment below and also i'd like you guys to tell me the kind of videos i should make and also you can comment that too below in the comment section and i'll uh, stay tuned for my next video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys